In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up and use the eye control feature on Windows. This is a fantastic accessibility tool that can make a world of difference for users who rely on assistive technology to operate their computers more efficiently and independently. So let's jump right into it. First, you want to start by going to your Windows settings. This can be easily done by clicking on the Start menu, which you'll find in the lower left corner of your screen. The Start menu looks like a small window icon. Once you've clicked on it, a menu will pop up and you'll see a gear icon labeled Settings. Go ahead and click on that. This will open up the main Windows Settings menu where you can customize various aspects of your computer. Once you're in the Settings menu, look for the Accessibility option. It's usually towards the bottom section of the menu, sometimes labeled as Ease of Access, depending on the version of Windows you're using. Click on Accessibility to open options specifically tailored to help users who might find typical computing tasks a little challenging. Now that you're in the Accessibility section, scroll through the options and look for Eye Control. This is the feature we're setting up today. Click on Eye Control and you'll be taken to a new menu where you can enable and configure this feature. Before you can begin using eye control, know that it requires an eye tracking device to function. This is a separate piece of hardware that you can purchase from various online or physical tech stores. Once you have your eye tracker, connect it to your computer. Windows should automatically recognize the device, but if it doesn't, you may need to install any accompanying software or drivers that came with your eye tracker. After successfully connecting your device, return to the eye control settings page, and you should see an option to turn on the eye control feature. Click to enable it, and you'll notice a bar appearing at the top of your screen when it's active. And that's it. You've successfully enabled eye control. Now, you can use your eyes to move the cursor around the screen, select options, and even type using an on-screen keyboard. This powerful feature is designed to provide greater independence for people who rely on these types of assistive technologies. It might take a bit of getting used to, especially if you've never used an eye tracker before, but with a little practice, it can become an intuitive part of your computing experience. So there you have it, a simple yet comprehensive guide to setting up eye control on Windows. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that it enables you to navigate your computer more easily. Thanks for tuning in today and stay tuned for more tech tips and tutorials.